first and foremost, I'd like to thank God, who is the head of my life. Um, also, big shout out to Chad Grimes for putting this amazing event together with the Black uh, Galas Rock. It's something that I think is essential for our community to uplift black and urban businesses in the city of Rochester. I think the more that we can begin to come together, um, the more unified our community is. There's a few people that I'd like to like uh, thank, especially you know my family, the individuals that's gone on, my mother, my grandmother, my father, my brother. I do everything I do essentially because of them, to make them proud, to understand the things that they instilled in me um, and the values that they instilled in me is something that I want to carry through their legacy. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times people ask me why I do what I do and that's the reason. One, to please God and one, to please my family. Um, and also to have uh, the kids be able to look up to someone that you know they can say hey I know her you know I want to be like her those are the moments that we live for those are the moments that we strive for as a community and those are the things that we want to see happen in our community a lot of people ask what is Rock Royal when did Rock Royal get founded so essentially we got founded in 2010 um, we were doing events I, I came home from college I was a little popular and um, big shout out to Maurice um, Raglan from Venue I, um, I was in the clubs, you know, I, I'm really not a partier per se like that, but I knew a lot of people, so myself and Kanisha Hatchet, shout out to my sis Kanisha, um, he gave us some tickets one day for an event called First Fridays. We really didn't know what it was, but he was testing us to see how many people we could bring out. He gave us each 100 tickets, and we sold that thing out, right? We sold it out, and then once we met with him, he was like, Y'all on payroll, y'all on staff, this is what's gonna happen. You know, you guys are now officially promoters. And that's how Rock Royal started from a promotional standpoint. But again, I suffered loss in 2010 as well with my brother being murdered. So my focus shifted not only for club, but my focus also shifted for community. Um, I did a big Stop the Violence event, event um, back in, I can't remember the year, but maybe about five years ago um, with Kennedy Entertainment and um, the city of Rochester. And it was to really bring and identify the violence in the Rochester community, and it was really an honor of him. And that's when I realized I wanted to shift the movement from just club promotion to more community-based promotion and have a better impact. I didn't stop doing the clubs because it's good money. It's good money when you're in the clubs and you got some stuff going on. I ain't going front, you know, I was sinning, but it was good money. <laughs> But no, but eventually your purpose calls you. You no matter how far you try and run from your purpose, your purpose eventually kept, kept, catches up with you. And I believe that's ha what happened with Rock Royal Foundation. We begin to focus more on how we can improve the community from book bag drives, Christmas events, Easter egg hunts. We drop in heli eggs out of helicopters. And um, it, being being more involved, I work my day daily job is I work with kids for the last 10 years of my life. So you know more so constantly working with young people now building up the families and letting them know listen we are here we stand behind them and there's purpose in your life so many of our young people don't hear that they're going to be somebody that they're value and that's why I'm here that's why individuals I work with are here to say baby you're going to be somebody you can make it and essentially that's what we're trying to do that's why Rock for All Foundation is here it's not about the name and the recognition and the awards or whatever they can keep all of that they'll tell you I don't really like awards, but I did it for Chad, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's more so the purpose. What God calls you to, you must, you can't run from it no matter how hard. If you want to know a secret about me, I hate the limelight. Like, people think, oh, she this, this is my personality, what I do bring me to it. But if a person to tell you, I don't like to be behind the camera, Kyran can tell you. Kyran can tell you, I don't like to be behind the camera. I don't like the news. I don't like none of that. I just, it's just purpose. It's just what I'm used to. It's the skill set that I have, and it's a talent that God gave me. But, you know, so shout out to Rock Royal and all the things. We're not done. We just did 5,000 book bags, 1,000 uniforms. Next year, let's go for 10,000. And it's not to say, oh, we did that. It's just for us to help our community and help the kids get ready to go back to school and all the various things that we do. Rock Royal Foundation, that's why we're here.